But now you probably know all about the Samsung Galaxy S8. It was announced here in New York City and what a phone it is. There's a lot to talk about, like the Infinity Display, you have the Bixby AI, but in this video, I'm gonna be talking more about the Samsung DeX experience. Samsung did show off its brand new desktop experience with Samsung DeX, which is basically a platform, but you actually have this dock that you connect the phone into, and then you could have other peripherals connected to it, like a display, a monitor, you have a mouse, keyboard. So essentially, your phone becomes a computer. Samsung did demo it off, and it's pretty convincing because essentially you have a desktop experience on your mobile smartphone. So what Samsung DeX is, is a platform. You connect your phone to this brand new dock that they have, and the dock not only charges the phone, it also has ports like USB ports, an HDMI port, you can connect a monitor, mouse, keyboard, so it gives you that desktop-like experience. And when you run it, it looks like a Windows 10 experience. Now, for anyone who owns a Windows 10 smartphone, this is kind of similar. They'll probably scratch their head and think, this has been done before, because if you've used Microsoft's Continuum experience on, say, the HP Elite X3, you know what this is. It basically allows you to tether your smartphone to a monitor and also peripherals to have that desktop-like experience. I did see it in action, and so far, I think it's pretty convincing because everything pretty much ran smoothly. So you could write up documents, reply to emails, you could get your notifications. And for the most part, it seems like the apps do scale up. Some of the Microsoft applications have been optimized, so they make good use of the real estate, but there's a big but in all this. And that big but kind of relates to what we're seeing with Android on the tablet side, where many of these applications haven't been optimized at all. So when you run them, they look kind of weird and funky. So it's going to be interesting to see how quickly the developers can take advantage of Samsung DeX and optimize the layouts to take advantage of the larger screen you're going to be using. They didn't announce pricing or availability on the dock itself, but they'll probably announce that very soon. Now, all of this is fine and dandy, and it's pretty convincing what Samsung DeX is gonna be able to do, because now you have your smartphone, if you're at work, you might have the dock there, so you're able to quickly transition from the mobile experience to the desktop one. What Samsung's doing here with Samsung DeX kinda reminds me of the Motorola Atrix from way back when, because that phone itself tried to do exactly what Samsung is doing here, but it didn't really catch on. Now the advantage with Samsung is that they have an established base, and we could definitely see this platform enhance, optimize as it continues to grow. So we're gonna look forward to see what happens. So how do you guys feel about Samsung DeX? Is it gonna be useful or is it redundant? Let us know. So if you guys wanna learn more about any of the stuff I talked about in this video, you can check out our website, AndroidAuthority.com. This is John V, signing off.